My first job, I was a, I was a food runner in a country club. I think I knew from that first moment that I was home. I loved the energy, I loved the pace. Man, it was exciting. I've been in the industry for seven and a half years. I started out here at the Red Rooster as a dishwasher. I love my job. And seeing people leaving after a good meal and good service is a great thing. They can't get enough of thanking you. They're happy, they're dancing out the door. In March of 2020, there were 500,000 independent restaurants in the United States. Over the course of the first year of the pandemic, 90,000 restaurants closed permanently. When I had to start telling my staff, oh, you know, sorry, we're not gonna have a job for you for the next little while. And it was devastating because I knew there wasn't a lot of safety net for them. And there wasn't a safety net for me. I, I felt like a failure as a restaurateur. I spent the last couple of years really trying to make the industry a better place for my employees. And I realized the moment that we were shutting down that I had not done enough. The Independent Restaurant Coalition was formed in March of 2020 to give independent restaurateurs a voice in DC. Restaurants actually account for 4% of the GDP. So when you lose restaurants, you lose one of the largest employers in the country. We are responsible for making sure that 16 million people have a job. And every day that we delay getting financial assistance, we have people losing their jobs, we have people losing their businesses, losing their livelihoods. The danger of losing restaurants is economic because they employ so many people, but the danger is also that a community loses a great deal of its vitality. I wanted to work in the restaurant community because I feel like it helps out the community, keeps the community strong, and keeps the community coming out. Our whole business is squishing a lot of people into tiny rooms. That's not something you can do in a pandemic. We had unique problems that we needed government to sort of take care of, and, and that's what we were pushing for. The first amendment I put on the floor of the Senate as majority leader was an amendment by Cinema, a Democrat, and Wicker, a Republican. That was the Restaurants Act. The Restaurants Act didn't come to fruition, but elements of it were included in the American Rescue Plan and created the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, which began with $28.6 billion, intended to replace the revenue lost during the pandemic. My dad was a small businessman. I realized the pain that small business people go through and how they put everything, everything into that business. And so when we were able to help millions of restaurants, whoa, you just felt great. The number one thing that the IRC is still fighting for is replenishing the fund. We were basically closed for 18 months. And in that time, restaurants racked up a ton of debt. There are still some hardliners there in Washington who say they don't want to spend any more money. So we have to make sure they know that while some restaurants are doing well, not every restaurant's out of the woods. We need restaurants. If the kitchen is the heart of the home, then restaurants are the heart of the city. If restaurants go quiet, then the city goes quiet. The Independent Restaurant Coalition is what America's all about. People getting involved in their government for a good purpose and making sure that the needs, very real needs, are taken care of. The restaurant experience is not just eating, it's becoming part of a community, it's sharing experiences, it's sort of a glue that ties everything together.